Hi guys, my name is Mara and I want to show you my Rofi scripts on my Arch Plus Iberland Rise. What is Rofi? Rofi is basically an application menu, even though it can be everything, but a lot of people, including myself, uh, were using it as an application menu. So just like this, with every single application, we can actually open it and everything. Yes, I know I have decks of icons, I have an ad hoc on my Iberland, but I still use Rofi. So whatever. But you can even use Rofi as a wallpaper selector. As you can see, this is my wallpaper selector. It has a huge compilation of wallpaper. I think over 100. I even add more, but I delete some stuff because whatever. And when I change my wallpaper, this is my configuration using paywall, paywall, paywall. I don't know. Plus Matigen. When I change the the wallpaper, for example, something like uh, like this. It will change the color scheme of everything. I can actually see the the text of the icons. I need to fix that. It's not a big idea, but I need to fix that. And also, it will change the GTK team. As you can see, it's a bit red now. I don't know if on uh, you can actually see it on the recording, but I can see it. If I'm going to change it back to the purplish slash uh, catpuchin one, as you can see, it will become uh, purplish, something like that. I don't know, but it works as intended. Also, you can use my phone, sorry. Also, you can use Rofi as a system menu. For example, I have something like this where I can actually search files with another Rofi menu script so basically if I want to open some stuff I can do this it will open the spine if I want to actually update my system I can do this without any problem it should be all updated if I'm correct yes there's nothing to do it will close it I can install some packages I'm going to actually show an example with the Aussie because it's very light and I can actually install it without any problem it works as intended. I can actually install uh, our packages with this, remove packages without any problem. Also, if for some reason I choose the wrong choice, I can actually go back by pressing enter without any problem. The calculator is another Rofi application using Rofi Calc. I'm going to put that in the description. It works as intended, as you can see. I can even add any history if I want. If you click exit, it will go, go back to the main menu. Screenshot menu using Green Blast and Green Blast Slurp. And it works, I, everything I try it without any problem. If I go back, everything works as intended. The emoji selector is Rofi Emoji, basically another Rofi menu. <laughs> everything with Rofi. I usually use this when I actually chat with a lot of people. Because sometimes the emoji that I have on ZapZap, uh, Discord, uh, Telegram, even Steam, uh, or whatever I'm using, they, they don't have a lot of emoji. So basically I use this, even for YouTube videos. If I want to actually put an emoji, I can do this without any problem. It's actually kind of mad. If you saw that, it's because I need to actually move the Rofi menu to the center, I screw up something on my config, but it's not a big idea. But for bookmarks is another Rofi utility, where I can actually search the stuff using this application. So basically, if I want to actually go to the ArchWiki, it will open Mozilla Firefox, it will search it with DuckDuckGo, and I can actually choose whatever I want. Obviously, I can use this as a bookmark, so Usually when I want to actually watch some anime, I'm going to go to this C. I'm going to go to this site, whatever. Clipboard is just a clipboard, as you can see. Multimedia tools, it has everything that I need. Using FFmpeg, I can actually convert all of my video to a smaller size for YouTube and WhatsApp. I can actually convert for Discord using WebM is basically the best way to actually convert a video for Discord, even though it, you're going to lose a lot of quality. But if you have a small server with your friends and you don't have any Nitro, this is probably the best way to actually share content on Discord. 
I can even extract all the audio tracks from a video. Well, I need this because sometimes when I record outside in real life, basically, I record with multiple uh, microphone uh, and other stuff. So sometimes I need to actually extract all the audio tracks uh, if I want to actually uh, edit uh, with my phone or on their computer or whatever, if I don't have my computer or if I don't have them in to resolve, I have other apps. That's all. This one is just for downloading YouTube videos in max quality. The same for the audio. This actually downloads the audio in the on the max quality settings. It will actually convert it on MP3. Why? Because sides. And also, yes, I know MP3 is not a looseless uh, codec, whatever. But to be honest, I need the MP3 for everything, basically. I'm going to go back. Color picker is just a color picker. And it works as intended. And every time I use it, it will actually copy it on my clipboard. The Go Roll menu, Go Wall is an incredible application. If you want to actually convert an image to Masha Team, you can actually use Go Wall. Go Wall is basically a clear app. So you need to use the terminal or use my script in the description because I'm going to put everything in the description. Where you can actually change it to wherever you want and it works as intended. As you can see, I can actually convert an image to match uh, a team, whatever team I want. So basically, if I put an image, I can actually use this. I can go back if I want, everything. I can extract the color palette, and if I extract the color palette, it will actually make a text file in the document with everything. I don't know why Neovim doesn't actually update this in real time, but it doesn't matter. As you can see, everything works. This one is an incredible app. You need to use it. You must use it for everything. The only thing that I don't like is the AI upscaling because sometimes it's not as great as upscale another app that I use. I'm going to probably make a video about it. Shaggy bindings basically open Neovim with my keybinds and I can actually change it with everything. These are my keybinds. However, when I close it, it will actually reopen the menu. I need to change some stuff. As you can see, power menu. This one is just the power menu. It's just full of out with everything. And even this works as intended with paywall. Also, I use Rofi for other stuff. If I want to change my waybar uh, schema, I think my waybar style is probably better. From bottom to left, I can do this without any problem. This works as intended, as you can see. I can change it again. This one is another Rofi menu stuff. Yes, I know. Uh, Hyperion is just about uh, using the terminal and everything. But I grew up using a desktop environment. I grew up using Ubuntu with GNOME 2. I grew up using macOS 10 and then macOS. Um, I use Windows for I think two or three years of my life because I needed. So basically, sometimes I need to use this kind of stuff. Yes, I know this probably is faster to do this and whatever. But for me, Linux is about choice. This one is probably the best choice you can actually have. I'm going to put everything in the description on my repo. And also, I'm going to fix everything because as you can see, I don't want you to actually have this. Also, I put this here. This is actually really great. It's like a start menu. And even on the vertical space, you can actually do this without any problem. So, uh, I'm going to put everything in the description on my .file repo. And also, I'm going to make another repo just for this trophy system menu. Bye bye guys from Mera or Marco, wherever you want to call me. Bye bye.